Okay, welcome back. So all of you, so here we are again with another question, another important question, good question based on numbers. And I hope this question would be a bit familiar because uh, uh, whenever we talk about factors, uh, whenever we talk about numbers, so factors is generally uh, the one of the first topics, right, you encounter. And this is, uh, I think, the first topic also, uh, first new topic uh, which you become familiar with. Because in numbers, otherwise the other things, the classification of numbers, prime numbers, divisibility rules, there are most of things you are already familiar with. Factors is generally the first topic, first new topic you become aware with and uh, and you practice maximum number of times also. So this must be an easier question for you, I hope so. So let's check out. So take uh, your time. You can pause the video, take a screenshot and answer this question on your own. Okay, your time starts now. Okay, I hope so. Certainly, this must have been a very easy question. Now, let's read it together. It says, how many factors of 4800? So, 4800 factors are many hai. And all of you know that for that, we need to factorize the number, right? Uh, but there's some condition. How many factors of 4800 are divisible by 40? See, sometimes students miss the extra condition. We need to be very familiar, uh, very clear with that. What is written in the question? What is being asked in the question? So whatever is being asked, we should be uh, very clear about that. There should not be any confusion. Don't read half, right? Read completely and carefully. So we need to find the factors of 4800, which are divisible by 40. So how to find that? The very easy thing, uh, the simplest way always is write first this number 4800 as multiple of 40. It is 40 times how much? Can you tell me? 4800 is basically 40 into how much? 40 into 120. Yes, that's correct. So it's 40 into 120. So basically, I'm looking for uh, those factors, those many factors uh, of this number, which are multiples of 40. That means 40 should be kept aside. So I can say that I just need to calculate how many numbers divide 120 because whatever numbers uh, divide 120 or whatever factors, whatever number of factors of 120 are there. So if I multiply those factors with 40, so those numbers, those numbers are going to be factors of 4800 and they are also multiples or they are divisible by 40, isn't it? Simplest way, right? The simplest way always is that. So whenever it uh, you find certain uh, condition like that, so what we need to do, we need to take that number out. They take number th uh, that common and, and for the remaining number, we just need to calculate the number of factors. So in other words, I can say that this question is nothing but if, we, if I rewrite this question, so question is asking about what is the number of factors of this number 120. That's it. Now that becomes a very basic question, simple question of factors. So how to do that? I'm sure all of you are familiar with that. We just need to factorize this number first, right? So write this number in its prime factorized form. So this 120 uh, is basically a number of factors of 120 we want to find out. So 120 ka factorization kya kya hai? So this is 15 times 8, 8 means 2 cube, right? And 15 means 3 into 5. So that is a prime factorization of this number. So number of factors this, this number, how do we find that? We just need to see what is the power of these different prime numbers. It is power 1 here, power 1 here. We just need to increase it by 1 and multiply, right? That is a very basic thing. And why it is so, let we will discuss that as well. So this is 3 plus 1, just increase it by 1, that becomes 4. This 1, just increase it by 1, it becomes 2. And now multiply. And same with this 1 will also be increased by 1, it becomes 2 and further multiply. So that gives you a final answer, that's it, right, that's it. So that's the direct way you all of you know that how to calculate number of factors and why it is so, you must understand that. That is a very simple thing and very important thing also. Uh, why it is so? Because I need to take any power of 2 among my factor, right? My factor uh, may be multiple of 8, 2 cube. My factor may be multiple of 2 square, that is the second way. My factor may contain 2 only, right? It is divisible by 2 only. Um, that is a third way. And my factor may not contain 2 at all. That is 2 power 0, right? That is a fourth way. So how uh, the contribution of powers of 2 would be there in my factor? There are four ways for that. 
including 2 power 0, right? My factor may be multiple of 2 cube or 2 square or 2 power 1 or 2 power 0. There are four ways to select a power of 2. Exactly the same way, there are two ways to select a power of 3. It may be multiple of 3, it may not be, right? 3 power 1 or 3 power 0. Same way for 5 as well, right? So when we multiply all these combinations, we get the total 16 such factors, which includes all type of factors, right? There would be factors among the 16, which are multiple of 8, which are multiple of 3, which are multiple of 5, which are not multiple of 3, which are not multiple of 5, which are not multiple of any three of them. That is 1, right? So that 1 is also included here. So that's it. That was a question here. And I hope you have understood the idea as well. So that is a very famous and very uh, repeated variety of questions you encounter in various exams. Thank you for watching and we shall be meeting again with another good question in the next session. Thank you.